Hello, Buzz Cuts. My name is Hotsasi, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, last time, we set up this um, oxygen facility uh, that we still are not so sure does it actually work as we had it disabled because we, we were lacking a bit of automation which I have now placed in. So we have these atmosphere sensors in here to control the pumps so they only pump if we have enough gas in there. Um, so that project is good. However, we also want as uh, this rust oxidizer produces chlorine gas, which sinks down and should be pumped out this way. We need a lock here because we don't want to uh, um, get the, uh, the chlorine gas out of here. Um, so we will have a water lock here on this side, like so. And probably want to mix that up. We do not need more water than we already have. And then I think we can enable this one because it's deactivated due to low power pressure. And let's also enable these two. Uh, we are missing one piece of uh, automation wire there. And we can reach it from here. Uh, what we are missing, however, is piping. So. Let's have something going there and then just have a simple vent because if we are looking up here we have this setup we get oxygen out of it but here in the lower parts uh, not so good and the problem here is that in the lower part we accumulate of course uh, carbon dioxide uh, which we probably want to get rid of as well at some point but today we want to focus on the power production here and you can see with this setup we are using quite a bit of uh, of power so we this this setup will not will not really work um how are we looking with the gas yeah probably let's uh, disable those still for a bit because as we don't have uh, this pipe going these upper pumps will not uh, pump out the uh, oxygen so the oxygen will just uh, uh, be pumped out down here which is not really what what we want so let's focus our attention here a bit on the on the power side uh, the petroleum generator produces polluted water um, and we probably want to get that down somewhere and then um, 
do things with it. Uh, for that, we would need some special tiles, which we apparently have not yet uh, researched. We have researched quite a bit, but apparently not those tiles. Where are they hiding? There they are. And that should allow us to basically let the uh, polluted water drop down. Um, and what I'm then thinking is, uh, one for one, we use the water there uh, to uh, filter it so we have a loop and then have a bit of uh, actually let's set that up already um, the and let's have that here and then we will also need Uh, what was it called? Uh, that's for cleaning the water. And what we also want is a carbon skimmer. So let's place that one up there have that on on solid tiles and there we have the mesh tiles that we are looking for let's place them them in there and then we need a bit of piping um because Can we turn this one around? That would help us, I would imagine, with the pipe because then the intake pipe can go here, the output can go there. Um, also need a bit of wiring so that way eventually we probably also want to have a sensor there and then basically let's make this a bit of a bigger hole and also have a leather going down here um Let's have then a pump and a pipe and a bridge. Can easily destroy the bridge. 
And then we also need some power. And probably our aluminium is not sufficient for uh, for what we have but we can make a bit bit more than that so that part pipe is done and then i think once we have this set up going uh, actually we don't need for that because the, the important part here was that we can get the uh, polluted water down there and out of the way, which we have. Everything else uh, comes later. So let's enable those buildings again. Uh, let's auto close this door. Nice. And that should pump out oxygen that way. Nice. And in here we have reached max gas pressure. But we can work around this by digging, digging a bit uh, more space out. Nice, we get a bit of uh, water in there. So let's deconstruct this this bridge here nice and then let's also have the atmo sensor here and a bit of cable. And this one we can disable. And with that, uh, this one we probably want to replace at some point with uh, uh, with a high pressure valve looking yes we have way more better oxygen distribution in here and we have an oxygen pocket there so that's why the skimmer is not working but that will sort itself out in due time and down here we have the beginnings of our production setup. What's still not working is our arbor farm here. And I'm not entirely sure why that is. I was hoping that the, our puffs here um, but plant a tree but maybe they are just too unhappy to do that uh, because they seem to be a bit 
crammed in here. Um, what we can do is dig out a bit more space to enlarge the stable. That should help the cramped feeling. And eventually they will also uh, die because they have no food. And that should also help in that direction. But I think we do have sorted our immediate oxygen problem and power problem. The only thing I'm, I'm worried about is the temperature. Currently the oxygen we get out of here is 20 degrees. But that's probably not for long so we will have to think about a way of of cooling the whole thing uh, which will be a bit complicated because proper cooling set up uh, requires steel and alternative cooling mm, we would need an ice biome for that. At least that's that's the, the easiest way to do it. Um, I mean, looking at the temperatures down here, they are not that, that bad. So we can make use of that. But you can see in here, we are, we are heating up the, the place as well. But I think that does it for today we made quite a bit of uh, of progress uh, and let's leave it at that and uh, next time we will see about that cooling setup until then goodbye